guys, Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com, hanging out with John Kineski, awesome guitar player, came down, give you guys some special, special stuff. Thank you for coming, John. Oh, thanks for having me. And you, you might have seen him play with Tenacious D, and you guys know I love Tenacious D, and so it's quite an honor to have John here hanging out. Um, so you're kind of playing like a more ragtime-y thing there, right? Yeah. 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 Awesome finger-picking stuff, so maybe you can just like... Break down like that first passage. I know there's like a million techniques in there that people yeah. can learn from. Yeah, the main one being Travis picking. This is a uh, um, used all throughout this song, Cannonball Rag. So Travis picking is the alternating thumb. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. And then uh, it, you should technically be able to do anything on top of it. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Throw it off, so. Sweet. So yeah, sweet. So I'm gonna take you through the first cycle of this here. It's a so that's all there is to it. Now it that's is a little all, tricky. That's all yeah, there. that's all. That's all there is to it. Um, you know, the the main thing here with Travis speaking is you gotta get your thumb. You gotta get your thumb to keep moving while your fingers do some other stuff here. So uh, there's no real simple way to like just immediately understand that or get your brain to translate that to your fingers, except just trying it and starting really slow. So I'm gonna go through slowly with you here. We're gonna start with just this. Actually gets harder the slower you do it. <laughs> it is hard to do that so slow. Uh, okay, so the chords, just so you know, this is a. It's basically like a, you know, like an E9. Um, but you know, we we play it like this. We play it with the uh, seventh fret on the fifth string, six on the four, seven on the three, and we're leaving our second string open here and just fretting so we can get this top note as well as this open B, so the seventh fret on the E string. So it's like this, and this is our alternating bass. This chord is our E9 here, and then, then this next chord we're gonna use our thumb to hit the fifth fret here. Uh, we'll, re uh, we'll reach around. The <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wrap the thumb around. <laughs> okay, so we wrap our thumb around the top here uh, on the fifth fret, and then uh, fifth fret on the fourth string, sixth fret on the third string, uh, fifth fret on the second string, seventh fret on the uh, E string, high E. And it's kind of a mess, it's kind of a mess of fingers, but it's a good chord. just again thumb remains there fourth fret on the uh, fourth string and then fives down on the first second third string and we're gonna use our pinky to do a little chromatic walk up there on the top that, that brings us around to the G now play a G any number of ways, you can do it like this, you can do it like this. This particular way we're going to do it the weirdest, most uncomfortable way possible because it has to be done that way for this song. So 
It's a very simple, you know, you get your G triad here, put the bass note down, and then, then uh, hug the neck to get your thumb on the low G. That way you can get, get your octave thing. Hours of uh, entertaining yourself in your bedroom. Okay, so the, the first time through, I'm just gonna run it real slow for you guys. So it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> 